Welcome to Kumpai News! Zeno looks like he is having a hard time hearing. Yeah, because we couldn't hear it. Oh, you still couldn't hear that? <laughs> I swear. I f oh, That's well, fine. Yeah. Let's keep going. I, I, Let's I just... the news out. I'm ready people, for news. People may have noticed in, in past episodes of this and Kumpai Cast that my audio is like very poppy, and I've just like done something to fix that, and it seems to be messing with a bunch. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome to Kumpai News for the week commencing the 29th of September 2024. I, of course, am your host, Nazith. I am joined, as always, by Zeno and Thalian. How are you boys this week? Yes. Yes. Looking forward to some news. Oh, we, 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 we you're in luck, Thalian. We've got news. Outrageous! How dare we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, we, you know we're we're here having fun, but as always, we we front load the bad stories. So let's bring that mood right mm -hmm. down, um, especially for this one. So our first story: anime songstress Sayuri passes away at the age of twenty-eight. Uh. uh Famed Japanese wow. singer Sayuri passes away on September 20th at the age of 28, as revealed on the site formerly known as Twitter. Her husband, musician Amar Amarashi, uh, shared that Sayuri has been battling a chronic illness. Earlier this year, on July 25th, Sayuri had announced a hiatus due to functional dysphonia, uh, a condition affecting her voice. Known for her anime themes like Licorice Recoil's Hana no To, uh, and erased Sora wa Chisa na Hikari no Yona, Sayuri began with her solo career in uh, with 2016's Rampo Kitan's Mikazuki. Her funeral was private, attended by close family and friends. Uh, I think she's done a lot more than just those mm. as well. But yeah, yeah, wow, that is so that is that's incredible. Tragically young. Yep, that's that's what chronic illness will do to you sometimes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, so we also have yeah. another little bit of bad news. A little bit of bad news. Not quite because, as bad, uh, but it's still bad. He's been a bad boy. Itaru Yamamoto dropped from multiple roles over breach of contract. Uh, voice acting agency I'm Enterprise announced on September 14th that it has ended its management contract with the voice actor Itaru Yamamoto due to a serious breach of contract. The agency also confirmed that Yamamoto is no longer part of the entertainment industry. That's significant. Wow. His noticeable roles included Mad Mole in Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest, Victor in Undead Murder Fast, Patrice in Mashoka Tensei Jobless Reincarnation 2, the second season, and Grinwat in Final Fantasy XIV Heaven Sword. Really? Mm -hmm. Yamamoto's last credited role uh, was as Soundwave in the Japanese dub of Transformers 1 but the film's team had already replaced him with Yoji Ueda uh, following any uh, circumstances. Uh, following this, Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest confirmed it would recast the role of Mad Mole due to unspecified circumstances. Uh, while the show premiered on July 7th, no replacement act for Mad Mole has been announced. The incident has caused quite a stir, a stir as fans await further details about the breach and the upcoming voice actor changes. Yeah, they, they specifically did not announce, the company did not announce what these multiple breaches of contract were. But I feel like we can guess. Yeah, but the less said about that, the, better. the happier YouTube is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, mm. Right. Power World developer response. Yeah. Okay, so Power World developer responds to Nintendo lawsuit. Pocket Pair, the developer of Powerworld, released a statement on September 19th addressing the patent infringement lawsuit filed by Nintendo and the Pokemon Company. The suit filed on September 18th at the Tokyo District Court claims the game infringes on uh, patent rights with the companies uh, seeking damages and an injunction. Patent, sorry, Pocket Pair. Uh, expresses confusion, stating they were unaware of the specific patents in question and are starting legal proceedings to investigate. Powerworld, which debuted in January as a Steam Early Access game, sparked controversy for the resemblance of its creatures to Pokemon. Oh, they, they, yeah, they're saying so they also haven't been given the details about which patents yes. they, they specifically breached. So that's really yes. interesting. However, um, 
in a uh, an update from one of the other content creators, uh, Thor of uh, Pirate Software, uh, he says that the only patent filed by Nintendo in the last few years has been for their Pokeball mechanics, and it was yeah. filed three months after, after. the announcement of yeah. uh, Pocket Pairs Pal World. Yeah. So, uh, which means there it shouldn't some be covered shenanigans in shenanigans going on there. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. if they're not even telling them what patents they've infringed, then there's going to be some weirdness. That's definitely going to be some weirdness. All right. There is spec. There is speculation as well that the, you know, the because the patents seem to be so like loosely put together that they may not be, you know, um, legally watertight, and as a result, just get run out of court. Yeah, that's that's my thought because you can file a patent for just about anything. Whether that patent yeah. is enforceable is another issue. Uh, like putting the letter I in front of a word. Exactly. Right, so the Dragon Ball Daima English dub the theatrical premiere date has been announced. Uh, Toei Animation announced that Dragon Ball Daima will have its world premiere in U.S. theaters from November 10th to 12th, showcasing the English dub of the first three episodes. A trailer previewed, uh, pre previewed? previewed both new and returning voices. The anime will officially debut in Japan on Fuji TV on October 11th, with its first episode running 10 minutes longer than usual. A special Dragon Ball Daimatsuri, a festival event combining Daima and Matsuri, is set for October 6th at Tokyo Big Site, featuring three screenings of that first episode uh, and appearances by cast members. I have not watched the English dub trailer, but I, I'm sure it's just the same as the one I already watched, just with... Oh no, it does have different scenes in it! Oh, Ooh. I'll have to watch that later. Um... <laughs> Kind of excited for Daima, I'll admit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, in, another, in another update, the Slime Isekai gets fourth season and second movie. Oh. And uh, Namco Filmworks <laughs> announced that that time I got reincarnated as a slime, we'll be getting a fourth season along with a second anime film. To celebrate, the team dropped a new video and visual. The anime's third season, which premiered in April 5th and aired for two continuous cores, just wrapped up with its 24th episode on Friday. Uh, Crunchyroll streamed the series and is also providing an English dub. Now, I've heard, I've not actually seen, that the third series was actually pretty good. So, so I think that's true, And that, but then a uh, uh, former member of the show, Laws, showed us an image from, I think, the final episode, where he was like, ah, oh, yes, we're back. And it was everyone in a gazebo. Of course it was. <laughs> yeah, <Yet> again. <laughs> but an even better update... Yep. So, Free Ran Anime Greenlit for Season 2. The hit anime Free Ran Beyond Journey's End is officially getting a second season. Announced on the site, formerly known as Twitter, Madhouse will return to animate the continuation of Kanahito uh, Yamada and Tsuka, uh, Tsukasa Abe's beloved manga. The first season premiered September 29th, 2023 with a two-hour special and marked the first ever TV anime to debut on NTV's Kinyo Roadshow block. Um, the series later moved to the Friday anime night slot, running for two consecutive cores until March 2024. Crunchyroll streamed the first season along with an English dub. And I'm just... Dear God, hoping that they don't screw this up. Yeah. Um, take take as long as you need, Madhouse. If you need three years to put this together, take three years to put this together. Um, I have seen that there are speculations that season two will only be twelve to thirteen episodes. So, that's, that's but fine, don't though. care as long as the quality's there. Don't care. Exactly. Right. So. Uh, Satoshi Kon has been in the news a few times lately, but uh, her her film I think it's a her I can't remember uh, their mm -hmm. their films are returning to the big screen. Fans of the late auteur Satoshi Kon are in for a treat this October. Oh, it is a him in honor of his birthday. Five of his iconic works: Tokyo Godfathers, Paprika, Perfect Blue, Millennium Actress, and Paranoia Agent will all be screened at Ikebukuro Humax Cinemas starting October 11th. 
The screenings include special showings of Perfect Blue and Paranoia Agent on Cohen's birthday, uh, October 12th, and a talk event featuring voice actors Junko Iwao, uh, who played Mima Kirigoe, and Rika Matsumoto, who played Rumi. If you're a fan of Cohen's groundbreaking films, this is your chance to fly to Japan and <laughs> experience them on the big screen. <laughs> You know, if you can book a, a which got a flight in such a short period of time. Yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Oh, right. Uh, Thunderbolt Fantasy celebrates Takanori Nishikawa with a unique puppet. Puppet. In a fun birthday tribute to singer and voice actor Takanori Nishikawa. Pili Puppetry, the company behind Thunderbolt Fantasy, posted an amusing composite image of Nishikawa as a puppet on September 19th. The image features the puppet head of his character, uh, Lang Yao, with <laughs> placed in uh, placed on Nishikawa's real body, uh, creating a convincing and glamorous vi visual. Uh, Nishikawa has been integral to the show, providing theme songs for all three seasons and voicing Lang Wu Yao. Uh, fans were also invited to reminisce about his 1998 hit song, Hot Limit. This was something I didn't realize I didn't need to see in my life. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Moving uh, on. I, I, I could stand to see a few more people puppetized. Moving on. Uh, my Dress Up Darling live action trailer released. Uh, MBS unveiled two exciting trailers for the live-action adaptation of uh, Shinichi Fukuda's My Dress Up Darling on September 27th, showcasing the opening theme Princess Hero by Cho Tokim Tokimi... No, Tokim... How do you pronounce M-E? Me? 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 Yeah. Meki. Tokimeki. Yeah. yeah, Tokimeki. Sorry, Cho Tokimeki, uh, Tokimeki. Sendubu. Sendenbu. Sendenbu. Jesus Christ. Uh, and the ending theme, <laughs> Lovely Baby by Pedro. That one's easy. Uh, starring Iko Nagase as Marion Kitagawa and Kota Nomura uh, as Wakana Gojo. Uh, the series also features Akana uh, Ikeda. Um, Kokoro Toshi, uh, Toyoshima, um, Tosh, yeah, uh, Daichi, uh, Shiozaki. You got me so much okay. better at these. Mm -hmm. Practice, man. It's seriously, uh, and Mei Kyo Yamada, uh, in supporting roles. Mark your uh, calendars for the premiere on October 8th. Pause it. Hey, yeah. Mark your calendars for the premiere on October 8th at 24.59, which is a very, very specific time. Also, why is it 24? <laughs> um, or October 9th at 12.59 a.m. Uh, on MBS's drama... Dra dram dramaism dramaism Drama block dramaism yes programming block uh with additional airings on tbs why is it 2459 there isn't a 24 hour it's japan zero zero weird... no japan doesn't do zero for some reason they do 24 what? and then start with one yeah what? i think it's because i think it's because zero wasn't an original concept in japan for a long yeah. time it's how the a, fuck um... do they oh, okay yeah, they. Uh, it wasn't the the symbol for zero isn't actually, you know, as modern as you, uh, sorry, it's, it's far more modern than you think. Yeah. Well, no, I, I I get that, but at the same time, it's just like, how the fuck did they do anything digital without zero? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like you uh, know, twenty four hour clock was invented before a lot of other digital things. So, I'm yeah. intrigued. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, so, and also those outfits look pretty good. I'll, I'll say that for for them. Um, right. A more modest. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Not as many new bras. Um, right. So, 
The Phantom in the Rain heads to Netflix. Netflix announced on September 26th that it will soon stream Mononoke the movie The Phantom in the Rain, the first installment in the new Mononoke film project. The film premiered in Japan on July 26th, debuting at number 7 in the box office. Originally set to release in 2022, it faced delays with Takahiro Sakurai stepping down from voicing the medicine seller, a role now taken by Hiroshi Kamiya. Uh, directed by Kenji Nakamura, the film features character designs by Kitsuneko Nagata and music by Taku Iwasaki, with Aina The End performing the theme song Love Sick. The Mononoke film project is set to include three films, with the second, Mononoke the movie, second chapter, Hinazumi, scheduled to premiere in Japan on March 14th, 2025. Uh, Reedy hmm. needs to start watching these, because, like, yeah, yeah they, they are critically acclaimed. I've just never watched them. I mean, they, the art is mm, exactly. beautiful. Not what you'd expect mm. from an anime, but beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> right. And to round us out, the anime, manga, and novel releases between September 22nd and 28th. A slew of exciting anime and manga titles hit shelves on September 24th. Fans can grab Space Pirate Captain Harlock Blu-ray Disc for $80, The Eminence in Shadow Season 2 Blu-ray Disc for $70, and the classic GTO Great Teacher Onizuka uh, special... I don't know what SDBD is. Okay. Uh, Standard Definition Blu-ray Blu Disc? I don't know. Super Definition Blu-ray Disc uh, for $60. Additional highlights include Lupin Third Italian Game, Blu-ray Disc, for $25, and Mon Musu Everyday Life with Monster Girls, Blu-ray Disc, for $70. Uh, manga lovers have plenty to explore as well, with new vol volumes like Addo, G uh, Graphic Novel 24, uh, for $14, and as, reincarnated, okay, uh, yes. as a reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skill to rise in the world, Graphic Novel 12, for $11. On the novel front, check out 86, Alter, Novel 1, for $15, and Autumn in Amber, A Zero Second Century, for $14.99. And uh, that just That's it. ends the sentence. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty to go for, and uh, that brings us to the end of our actual news. Uh, SDBD, by us. the way, is standard definition Blu-ray. So oh, it is a, a Blu-ray disc, weird. because those are just easier to produce, I assume, these days. Uh, but yeah. the feature yeah, so, of it has not been upscaled. Yeah. So like, there's no right. improvements where I think. Right. Time for the, the fact or rumor. Man, uh, we're blasting through the, the news today. As we should do. Uh, right. So the first potential rumor. Uh, Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian is getting a season two. And this is a fact. The anime Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian has officially uh, confirmed to receive a second season. This announcement was made following the conclusion of the first season, which ended with a teaser video confirming the uh, continuation. The second season is already in production, although no specific release date has been provided yet. The adaptation will reportedly continue from the fourth volume of the light novel series by Sun Sun Sun. Sun, 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 sun. Names. Uh, right. Sun, 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 sun. <laughs> so, for number two, a Spice and Wolf merchant meets the wise wolf. Wait, Spice and Wolf merchant? No, it's both. Spice merchant. and Wolf merchant meets the, my, merchant the wise meets wolf. Merchant meets the wise yeah. Is getting a season two. And this is a fact. The anime Spice and Wolf, Merchant Meets the Wise Wolf, has officially been confirmed for a second season. The announcement came after the finale of the first season, which aired in late September 2024, uh, and we just reviewed uh, this week, which you will see uh, Thursday. Uh, this reboot of the original 2008 nice. series will continue to be produced by Studio Passion, with the uh, main cast and key production staff returning for the new season. However, no release date for season two has been provided as of yet. Take your time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. So, uh, next up, Solo Leveling is getting a movie as well as a season two. Well, we this is... We knew fact. about the season two already, so... Yeah, really but we didn't, I didn't know about the movie. movie. As well. I didn't a know movie the as movie. well as a season two. That is yeah. a fact, and I'm yeah. surprised. 
Uh, Solo Leveling is both receiving a movie and a second season of its anime adaptation. The movie, titled Solo Leveling Reawakening, is set for release in theaters in Japan and South Korea in late November 2024, and it will arrive in the US and Canada on December 6th, 2024. This film will serve as a recap of the first season while offering a sneak peek at the first two episodes of the second season. Ugh. As for the second season of Solo Leveling, it has been confirmed to release in January 2025 as part of the winter 2025 anime season. Fans can expect new episodes and continuing Sun Janu's journey with an additional exciting content tease during recent announcements. I think so basically the, 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 the movie uh, is just like the Demon Slayer movies yeah. where it's like, hey, yes. you know, here's, here's the end of the season and here's the like next episode here's the story so far with all yeah. the extra yeah. bits cut out yeah but also the uh the fact that exciting uh, additional exciting content teased during re recent announcements either that's companion stuff or it's actually more stuff they're adding to the f story that they don't mm. need to all right uh, for the first season moving on the 100 girlfriends who really 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 love you is getting a second season and this is a fact. I am so bloody happy about this. Right. Yes, the 100 Girlfriends Who Really, 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 Really Love You um, has officially been confirmed for a second season. The release date is set for January 12th, 2025, as part of the winter 2025 anime season. This season uh, will continue... Sorry. Yeah, this season will continue Rentaro uh, Aijo's a journey to meet and romance more of his 100 soulmates following the events of the first season. The production team, including sorry, including director Hikaru Sato and Bibari Animation Studio, uh, will return for the new installment, along with the main voice cast and additional new uh, characters have already been announced. Do we? I don't think we've announced this. I feel we haven't announced this. That's why we I have. wanted to make sure I got this. Yeah, like this This really surprised me out of the blue and it's just around the corner. So, yeah. Uh, would you rather Would you rather have more 100 Girlfriends or more Comey? If you had to choose. 100 Girlfriends. 100 Girlfriends. It's just so funny. It is so All goddamn right. What about 100 Girlfriends or more No Game No Life? No Game No Life. Well, no, 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 sorry. no Game No Life, obviously. Like, like I've been waiting Gunners, what... Is it uh, tw uh, ten years now? And like, <laughs> you know, never, never say never. Uh, I would sacrifice the pair of you for more no game, no life. Wow. So uh, on to the next one. The dangers in my heart is getting a movie, and just like the previous ones, this is a fact too. What is going on here? These are all facts. Um, it's. Oops, all facts. Uh, it has been officially confirmed that Danger The Dangers in My Heart will receive a movie adaptation. This movie will be a special compilation of the TV anime series with new scenes that continue the story of the main characters, Kyotaro Ichikawa and An Anna Yamada, uh, beyond the events of season two. The announcement was made in late September 2024 following the successful second season of the anime. The production studio Shin A Animation will continue to handle the production uh, the project with Hiroko, or sorry, Hi Hiroaki Akagi as the director. Wait, I don't understand this. Hiroaki. How is it a compilation movie of the series, as well as being like events beyond season two? I don't. Well, that's the same way that the same way that um. Uh, uh, what should I call Solo Leveling is going to have a compilation film as well as the first two episodes of the next season. Yeah, but there isn't a season three of Solo Leveling of um, not Solo Leveling of Dangers right. in My Heart. Yes, so this is a compilation of the first two seasons plus some events that will probably never happen or may happen if there's a season three coming. Okay, okay. I do like Dangers in My Heart. It's a dumb fun series. Mm -hmm. Uh. So, something I'm kind of pleased with, because uh, we're getting a rumor about Wistoria Wand Sword, and whether it's getting a season two. The question is, is this a fact or a rumor? And, as Nathan said, oops, all facts. Uh, <laughs> the anime Wistoria Wand and Sword, or Tsui no Sugurugi no Wistoria, has been officially confirmed for a second season. The announcement was made on September 29th, 2024, right after the conclusion of the first season. This news was accompanied by a special visual and a trailer. 
While no specific release date has been provided yet, the second season is confirmed to continue adapting the manga by Fujino Omori and Toshi Aoi, produced by Studio Actors and Bandai Namco Pictures. Why are you talking about Wand and Sword? And this is clearly about the story of Wind and Sword. Uh, <laughs> yes, we are list acts if we know this. But uh, <laughs> if you tune in on Thursday, you can watch my review of Wistoria Wonder and Sword for the first mm -hmm, season mm -hmm. and see what we, uh, what I think of it. I thought it was Wind and Sword. No, it's Wand and Sword. Oh. I thought the series was actually called Wistoria Wind. Why is it called Wistoria then? That doesn't make any fucking sense. That's stupid. <laughs> Moving on to the next uh, potential Ooh, rumor. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hell's Paradise Season 2 is airing in 2025! Oh, please, oh, please, this oh, please, is a rumor. Oh, please, oh, please. oh. Yeah, this is a rumor. So, while Hell's Paradise Season 2 was officially confirmed in July 2023, no official release date has been provided as of yet. Several sources speculate that the second season could be released as early as 2024. I kind of missed that one. Yeah. Um, with some suggesting the possible date in 2025 due to Studio Mapper's packed production schedule. Given the timeline of the first season's production, 15 months uh, after its announcement, a mid-2025 uh, release for season two seems plausible, but this has not been confirmed by any official sources. Therefore, any claim about 2025 air date remains speculative uh, until official confirmation is released. Oh, it. sad Nazareth is sad. Um, We're done. The only rumor in the lot was the one Nazareth wanted. Yep, there you go. Um, that was hmm? that the only rumor? That was the only rumor. That was I the only rumor. Was the only yeah, rumor. it was. The little blue fat guy got an awful lot of screen time today. To, to be honest, though, um, is is that what we're calling him, little blue fat guy? Um, uh, to be honest, guy. though, but he's when, actually his actual name is uh, is Bobo. Right. When I was going through the uh, the the rumors and things, I thought this one was going to be the fact. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, this one was the rumor. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Right, well, that will do it for the news this week. As we have said several times through this episode by now, this Thursday we will have our review of the summer 2024 season. It is a long one, but I think it's really uh, it's really good. Xeno goes a little off the rails at one point, and it's beautiful to watch. So uh, make sure you stay tuned later for that. And um, I guess until then, we'll see you back here for more news next week. The rant yes. was biblical. We must, we must consult the diagrams. <laughs> wow. Bye, everyone.